A lot of what you're seeing right here is a, uh, this is the training weapon. All right, it's just for tan. Nothing more than for tan. A lot of flow, a lot of distance, a lot of timing. Notice that they are moving quite a bit. The reason why we do move quite a bit is the fact that this is a combat system and we incorporate multiple opponents. Another interesting thing to note is the fact that this system is also currently being used in the southern part of the Philippines, especially against terrorist, terrorist groups in Mindanao, known as the Abu Sayyid, the southern, southern portion of the Philippines. This translates to this. This is not a toy. This is an actual live blade. These are live weapons. These will cut trees, these will cut brush, these will cut hands, these will cut heads. Notice they are still moving around. The reason why you need to move around is because you do not want to be a stationary target. And this is something that we are practicing here in the United States, but it's something that is being practiced daily, every single day, by Force Recon Marines, AFP, and PNP of the Philippines. These blades are handmade, hand forged by a man named Master Manual Sergeant Prada. He's the guy who runs the combat system in the Philippines. The combat system of the Philippines, these are handmade swords, also known as bolos from the Philippines. Notice the black one that Paul is holding, that is known as a canunte. The forward cur curve allows it to be able to slice, brush, it allows it to slice any type of object that is in the way. The forward design actually has that center of gravity push back so we can keep slicing. The one that Tom is using, the one without a coating, is also known as the Taliban. Those are also handmade by Master Sergeant Prado himself. Those are wonderful for thrusting. It is also a thrusting tool. A lot of the movement that you see here, again, you do not want to be a stationary target, and that's highly emphasized by Force Recon Marines and Master Manual Sergeant Prado Jr. Another key, key thing to note is the fact that Paul's weapon, his canoeing is also in black. We also call that a parkerized finish. The reason why they would use that is in the darkness, because guess what? You can't see the blade. All you see is movement. You might see hand, but you don't know whether or not you're being cut. Another unique feature, and the reason why the Force Recon Marines still use this in the Philippines, and in particular, the Master Sergeant Proud of the guys that train, is the fact that they do state that they will run out of ammo. They will run out of ammo. They will Jam. The harsh environments dictate that you do not have an unlimited supply of ammunition, so you have to go back to this one. Something that's been part of the Philippine culture for many centuries.